And so it is with great honor that I induct the package deal, Red and Trey, into the WWE Hall of Fame. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> no. Wow. Thank oh, you. Oh, this is incredible. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank All you. Right. Thank you guys so much. All right. Almost 20 years ago, we were a couple of not so popular high school kids who bonded over our love of WWE and became best friends. But we never thought it was possible that someday we'd be WWE superstars ourselves, let alone stand on this stage tonight being honored as two of the very best of all time. By the way, I totally thought we could do it. He didn't. Going off script already, huh? Well, that didn't take long. Fine. Where was I? Here we go. But one day at lunch, we made a list. This piece of notebook paper would become the roadmap to our success in WWE. It contained our goals, hopes, and wildest dreams. And it changed everything. Over the years, we added a lot of new things to the list, and pretty much everything got crossed off except for one huge final achievement. Get inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. And unless anyone in charge has a last minute change of heart, I think it's safe to say that will be crossed off in a little while. I'm not gonna say this is a bigger achievement for me than it is for my friend, but let's be honest. When I first got to WWE, not many of you thought I was Hall of Fame material. What he's trying to say is he wasn't exactly the most respected superstar in the locker room. <laughs> well, let's face it, no one other than you liked me. But a lot of that was my fault. I was brash and confident, but didn't have the experience to back it up. Sure, I had a universal title win, but it was mostly considered a fluke. And when it came to the list and my career goals, I really only cared about crossing off the fun things that came along with being a WWE superstar. Winning dance contests, getting an action figure, a cool t-shirt, being in a video game, a movie. <laughs> Which, of course, brings me to The Miz. What's up, buddy? I see you. <laughs> yeah. There were a lot of parallels between our personalities, which explains why I wasn't that liked, and also why we made such good adversaries. I mean, who could forget our legendary battle over the lead role in Rank and File 4? I am definitely auditioning. It's one of my OG list items, star in a WWE action movie. I think I'm gonna pass. Are you kidding? Do I need to remind you that the rank-and-file films are cinematic masterpieces? No. You mention that every year on that weird holiday you invented where you binge all of them from start to finish. You mean Thanksgiving Day? It's the most heart-pounding, action-packed, explosive day of the year. And it's gonna catch on. You'll see. I wouldn't get your hopes up, all you wannabe movie stars. Because I already have the lead role of Bryce Decker locked in for the fourth consecutive film. I mean, do you really think the rank and file franchise could continue without the most accomplished WWE superstar slash actor in history? The answer is no, people. But please, feel free to audition for a bit part or an extra role. I'll be sure to put in a good word for you with the director. Gotta run, getting my eyes bleached for the big shoot coming up. Really gonna make these baby blues pop on screen. Break a leg. Sorry, this isn't my thing, but I know how excited you were. Hmm. Honestly, the franchise is probably better off in the hands of a seasoned artist like The Miz. You were right, it was a stupid dream. <sighs> you know what? I changed my mind. Let's audition together. It'll be fun. Really? Yeah. Let's give it our best shot, and maybe we can get supporting roles, or background would be fine too, even deep background mm. where we're out of focus and no one can see me. Oh, that would still be cool. And just imagine all the kids' faces when they see us in the movie next year on Thanksgiving Day. They'll light up with explosions and excitement. I'm still not sure that's catching on like you think it is. Instead of worrying about movie auditions, maybe you should focus on defending your Raw Women's Championship. Thank you. 
Thanks for the advice, but I'm confident I can handle both. Maybe you feel that way because you've been facing subpar competition since you won that title last year. So how about you step up and take on someone who can actually challenge you? Who do you have in mind? Is that a serious question? I'm talking about the EST of WWE. I'll see you in the ring. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Raw Women's Championship. Corey, what do you think of the champ's chances here tonight? I love them. I'm not like everybody else, Cole. It seems like everybody's ready to write the champ's demise, but not me. Let's not forget about how great she's looked of late. That has to account for something here tonight. Well, of course it does, Michael. But the opposition has looked amazing as well. Let's not forget about that either. Here comes the EST, gentlemen. Cole Byron's like the EST of the commentary team. The worst? The dumbest. The ugliest. Hey, that, that, those are dumb examples. Watch what you say. Bianca's been exceptional her entire life. She earned all SEC and All-American honors in track and field at the University of Tennessee. And if you just ask her, she'll tell you why she's better than everybody else. You got eyes, Byron. You understand. Corey, what does she have to do to leave here tonight as champion? She's going to need to be absolutely perfect. And I'm not talking about near perfect or close to perfect. She absolutely needs nothing short of perfection to knock off the champion here tonight. Introducing the challenger. From Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair! And introducing the champion, from Punta Vedra Beach, Florida, the Raw Women's Champion, L. We're about to see which woman rules the landscape around here. Since winning the Raw Women's Championship, Red has defended her title against all challengers. This is the first time, however, that she faces an opponent with the athleticism of Bianca Belair. You know, it sounds cliche, but these two are driven to be the best. That alone should create an ultra-competitive matchup tonight. If Red takes this likely, not only does she part ways with her title, she could also become the new EST of WWE, as in latest to lose to Bianca Belair. No one's backing down here. What an impasse. Oh, that's how you establish dominance. Wendy Richter, Trish Stratus, Sherry Martell, Lita, so many great Hall of Famers helped make the Women's Championship the prestigious prize it is today. She scores big with the counter. Oh! And the... Oh. 
dangerous situation here, guys. Downright treacherous. Harsh impact. Look at this. Boom. Nice. She's got to remember to get back in the ring before the referee's 10 count. Boom, right to the oh. jaw. Oh, you can pick up your teeth in section 112. Challenger's a little worse for Two. wear now. She can withstand the punishment, though. Back now inside Three. the ring. I've seen some unique offense. Look at this. Salt. You see that height. She's gaining momentum here, guys. She's flipped a switch, and the light is on. By my estimation, Bianca Belair is pound for pound the best athlete in the NXT women's division. Well, that's part of what being the EXT is all about. And it's been Belair's recipe for success since debuting in NXT. But it's her strength and power game specifically that she needs to rely on in this match. Slam! Evading possible disaster there. Spin kick to the midsection. Shoulder tackle. Oh. Kick right to the midsection. Oh. Reverses. Can she take advantage? Oh. She is just too quick. Got out of the way in a hurry. The challenger not looking good right now. She's not rising to the occasion right now. All oh, on the apron, lifting it up into the ring. Bam! Suplex. DDT! Can you imagine the celebration that will take place? Probably into the... This can't bode well. Omega Driver. Looks like the champ is going to retain. All that's left is the three count. Take a look at this again. For the win to retain the championship. One, two, three. The champion retains. Now is a good time to look at some of the highlights from that last matchup. Who could forget this? And finally... Here is your winner and still the Raw Women's Champion, Elle. And she earns the big victory here tonight. I don't think she's ever looked more dominant. What a spectacular championship match it was, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining us.